here. So I've got a little bit of a leak out of the top of my spigot, my outdoor spigot. The, I believe that's the anti-siphon. And you can see it's, it was worse. I messed around with it a little bit. And I was able to get it to stop, but it was, um, it's been leaking out of here, dribbling out. So I'm gonna see if I can't get that fixed. Bought a couple replacement parts here. At Menards. My tow truck, or my, yeah, tow truck is here getting my, my pickup. Transmission went out, that's a whole nother video. But, um, I'm gonna take this apart and see if we can't put some different parts in it. So I popped this cap off with a screwdriver, it just pops right out. It's a nice thick plastic. And it looks, on the new part, this is threaded, so this must, um, this must unscrew pretty tight in there. Maybe I can tap that off with the screwdriver. And hold the camera, unlikely. I'll see if I can get that loosened up. Okay, that loosened up with just a light tap on it. So I'm able to unthread this out of its holder. I'm assuming there's parts in there. This has got a little gasket on the top. This piece was sticking in there too, just sitting in there. Popped out right away. So to me it looks like I'll screw this piece back in. Okay, so this has got the gasket on it. This part here, similar to this piece. Get my fat fingers out of the way. But that has the piece still in it, so that broken piece out, that must be where the leak is coming out then. So I'll put these new pieces in and we'll see if we have it good. Oh, there, goes, there goes the truck. We'll see what we can do. Okay, I threaded this piece in. And I think I just have to pop this cap. I prefer this old cap. It matches the faucet, not that it matters. But well, maybe that's not going to stay on there. I have to use the new cap. This one's a, a metal one, but it's not quite as robust as that other one. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that just pinches down on there. Well, I don't have a waterfall like I had the first time. Yeah, oh, there it's coming out. So something else is wrong in there. Maybe I didn't tighten up that, that thread quite enough. So the little seal in there, the little, I'm going to call it a plunger, I guess, with the seal on the top was not setting in. When I would turn the spigot on, it would not rise up, so it was getting caught in there. So I just unscrewed this again. And put it back on, realigned it, and now it's it's holding just fine because water was spurting right up, right up out of that hole. I could tell it wasn't seating. So the pressure holds that seal up against. Um, I've got it on now. I've got, probably should add another washer on my, my hose. Actually, that's coming out of the front, isn't it? Might have to tighten up the front of my handle a little bit, take that apart and see what that's all about. But anyways, this waterfall has been taken care of. The parts weren't very expensive at Menards. I think I've got, what, maybe six dollars into it? Into this, the vacuum breaker replacement kit. So I think that's what I've got into it so far. Now I've got to find what this other little problem is coming out of the front of this faucet. I didn't realize I had an issue there. But anyways, I'll take that apart and see what's going on there, but thank you for watching. And there it is with the cap on it. It does look nice with that silver cap, I guess. I'm fine with that. It's one that fits, so that's one we use. So I've removed the handle 
and it looks to me like I just have to tighten up this it's coming out right underneath there so if I can get that tightened up I don't know maybe the washer maybe there's a washer in there that has gone bad but I'm assuming that if I pull that out it's under pressure I'd have to shut it off inside and get the pressure off of it that it will uh, not go back together easily under pressure so I'm just gonna see if I can tighten that up and get that dripping to stop as I tightened it up the leak got progressively worse but when I loosened it it basically stopped so I think I've got it well when I went backwards with it anyways I believe I may have stopped the drip I guess we will see uh, I can put the handle on here Turn it on. I guess I'll have to monitor it. Get that screwed back together and go from there.